Good morning. Hey guys, Reaganite 71 here. You know, this past weekend, Katie and I went down to Hot Springs and we've got part one of that road trip available over on the Vacation Getaway or other channel. It's uh, interesting. We had a good time, but it got me to thinking about leaving your garden when you're going on vacation. You know, for all the time we spend in the spring, putting money and effort into the garden, going on vacation can be a death sentence. We found that out in our early 20s when we would plant a little garden and do all of that, and then come back to dead vegetation. There are some simple tips that you can use to keep that from happening. So let's get to it. Now, first things first, if you have anything at or near harvest, go ahead and take it off. Examples would be tomatoes that are turning color or anything that you can pretty much pull off and let ripen up inside. What this is going to do is take a lot of stress away from the plant. Plants have got to have water and nutrients to keep themselves alive, plus keep producing the fruit. If you take away a lot of that stuff, it's going to make it a lot easier for the plant to live. Now the next thing you want to think about doing is giving your plants a feed. Uh, I like to put down, sprinkle some organic fertilizer around each plant and then cover it with fresh compost. Hello darlings, how are y'all? cover it with the fresh compost though and the reason for that is nitrogen when it's exposed to the atmosphere it'll come off into the atmosphere it'll basically just float away if you cover it with compost then you're going to keep that nitrogen there where the plants can take it up and absorb it now if you're just going away for the weekend or maybe three or four days a real deep watering and then a heavy mulch of about three to four inches might get you by you're still going to kind of be rolling the dice though. Of course, you could have a neighbor that you trust water you. Just be prepared to return the favor when they go on vacation. Ultimately though, the best thing to do is use a battery powered hose connect water timer. I've got a detailed series on how I installed my system available in the links below or by clicking on the little video off to the side here if you're on a computer. After installing the drip irrigation last spring, I only had to make a few adjustments as the heat of summer came on. Best of all, mine can be programmed to water up to four times a day. Now on an average in non-heat wave times of the year, I'll set it to run every other day for about 30 minutes in the morning. When the extreme heat of July and August kick in, I'll change my water timer settings and I'll have it water every morning for about 30 minutes. Now if you have plants in pots, going on vacation is indeed a death sentence because when it dries, it dies, especially if it's in a pot. You can simply hook into the main line of your tubing with it, run it over to your pots, circle it around, and then every time that water timer kicks on, your pots are going to get watered too. Now you can get a basic hose threaded water timer from a place like Home Depot or a place online for around 30 bucks that'll do all the things that mine does, programmable four times a day, all of that stuff. You can actually get a basic drip irrigation kit that'll just screw onto your hose. You can take it out to your bed, screw it on and all that. For around 17 bucks, you know, for a one basic kit. And you can get bigger kits all the way up to $50. You can spend as much as you like, but you can also do it cheaply. Drip irrigation really, really is cheap insurance. Cause like I said before, if it dries, it dies. Once the basic investment and work is done on a drip irrigation system, it's going to be an advantage to you throughout the season, not just while you're away on vacation. Last summer, through massive heat and drought, my garden stayed consistently lush and green and had no problems because I didn't even have to lift a finger. The watering was automatic and it was taken care of. Well guys, there's my tips for keeping your garden alive and healthy while you're gone. Now if you've got tips, be sure and share them in the comments section down below. We've got a great community of gardeners and I'd love to hear what you do. Till next time, it's Reaganite71. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. The sun's playing with me. It's acting like it's going to come out. Maybe I can get some more done.